Hey guys, Moms Against Medical Bullying. So Karen made a Karen Lamb made a video about how doctors have to touch or they have to touch young boys' privates in order to test them before sports for like a hernia or what have you. And she made a point that you don't that's not really necessary because you can tell if you have a hernia. But that got me thinking about how I wonder if, you know, all this stuff that takes place when we're children, I think it made me think that it primes us to receive abuse even into adulthood. Um, you know, and it primes, and, and every generation that does it, you know, it continues the cycle continues and you know you know maybe this is maybe this is why some kids don't speak up when they're touched in the wrong ways by people they're not supposed to be touched by because they're being, being touched by people in ways they're not supposed to be touched by people their whole life since they're born you know they're treated roughly and you know they get taken to these doctors who are strangers to get these injections to hurt the, which hurt their body it hurts at the moment and can hurt afterwards if they have bad side effects so there it's like people are used to getting abused cuz we're abused since we're born we're injected with toxins from the, from the moment we're born now. So, um, you know, we're used to letting uh, strangers uh, um, touch us in ways that we shouldn't be touched. You know, injecting us with stuff, looking at our bodies, you know. It's just, there's no, um, there's no bodily autonomy you know, from the day that we're born. They show us that there's no bodily autonomy. Because like I said, they take us to these men or women, these offices, where we have to undress sometimes and let the stranger look at our body and see if we're okay. Because what, what you know, mom and dad can't tell if you're okay. Mom and dad can't tell if you're growing okay, you know. Um, mom and dad don't know what's healthy and what's not. Mom and dad allow you to be abused by these strangers in these offices so yeah it sets us up for no bodily autonomy and maybe that's the reason so many people conform to this mask crap because they have no bodily autonomy they're used to this these strangers telling them what to do with their bodies and you know even worse if if the person even experiences abuse you know family abuse you know so, yeah, I think all those things take away a person's bodily autonomy and sense of the right to their own bodily autonomy. So it kind of just falls in line with, you know, everything that we see occurring.